Hello, welcome to Dutch Girls Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. This is part two of our Batman Month finale. This time we're reviewing Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. It's an hour and 30 minutes. Directed by... Oh, it's not showing me the director. <laughs> Probably the same guy. <laughs> I forget his name. Uh, you have uh, Maya Rivera as Catwoman, Jensen Ackles as Batman, Josh DeLamo as uh, Harvey Dent Two-Face. You get to see Harvey Dent as Two-Face in this film. Uh, Troy Baker as, um, as Joker, David Desmalchian as Calendar Man, and you had da- uh, Billy Burke as uh, Jan- uh, Jim James Gordon. So, first off, I, I <laughs> turns out I was... I was wrong on who the killer was. <laughs> uh, they pulled they pulled some uh, they pulled some BS in this uh, movie, right? Which we'll talk about that in the spoiler section. But the story for this film is basically everybody thinks uh, Batman. Oh, I forgot to mention you have um, what's the the chick who played Starbuck did the voice of uh, Poison Ivy. <laughs> I forget her name. She was. She also voiced in like you know uh, Batman Year One, which yeah. So like, uh, yeah. What happened, right? Is basically uh, months go by. Batman, well, Batman Bruce Wayne was under was held captive and under the influence by Poison Ivy, right? On the behest of the Carmine Falcone family. Which are, are getting like you know attacked by holiday on on holidays, right? So that um, eventually though, like Catwoman uh, go, goes to um, the Wayne Manor, and I, I forgot to mention in the first review that Catwoman and Batman were dating. I didn't think that was going to be, <laughs> uh, and they broke up at the end of the last film, right? So yeah. She goes. She goes and rescues Bruce Wayne, right? Bruce Wayne from Poison Ivy, right? And uh, their relationship, I guess, is back on track. Uh, I guess I'm not 100 percent sure, right? Um, Batman continues continues his investigation. Starts to think that Harvey Dent is Harvey Dent is Holiday. And even the media and, you know, other people are calling him out that he's probably Holiday, right? Which, you know, Calendar Man, you know, suggested that in the last film, right? So he he starts to get stressed out, right? Uh, Somebody, Holiday goes and kills um, one of the patriarch of the Marconi family, right? Right? Right before they 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 were signing a truce with the Falcone, right? Or planning a truce with the Falcone family because you know uh, the the son of the patriarch was dating is dating uh, Fal- Falcone's daughter, who I thought was a dude in drag <laughs> at first, but it apparently is a very built uh, woman, I guess. <laughs> Who's like built like a what, what's the call what's the term a, a sh, like a shit brick house or some shit like it's fucking insane how big and tough this fucking woman is right uh, yeah so like yeah so he he devises this plan where he pretends to you know snitch on the Falcone family for immune immunity but in court. Uh, throws acid in Harvey Dent's face, right? And Two Face is born, right? His split personality. So it's it very it very much reminds me of The Dark Knight, <laughs> uh, which you know took took a lot of inspiration from this film, right? Which you know it's kind of and it it, it sucks because it like Two Face was talking to Harvey at right before it happened so I feel like it doesn't make sense for that to happen unless they, they want the the pe- the uh, the people who made the film want you to think that Harvey Dent was Holiday all along and Two-Face was taking control of his body which 
Uh, turns out was not the case, right? Spoiler alert, was not the case. So yeah, um, you get this cool scene where like Harvey Dent becomes Two-Face, uh, teams up with Solomon Grundy, and uh, Solomon Grundy, right? Uh, and the other Batman rogues, the Batman rogues, all break out of Arkham Asylum, and you get to see like the, this huge assault on the Marconi family by the Batman rogues because they wanna, they're they're all pissed off on holiday, so they wanna kill Marconi before holiday can, <laughs> right? Yeah, so Batman and Catwoman team up and take them down, and then you finally get the reveal on who the actual you know uh, holiday was, right? Which. Uh, I am not too happy because they they do this in animation all the time where they show you a masked person with a specific build, right? And it clear, clearly looks like another character. And then when the masks come off, it's a, it's a different person with a different build, right? When it totally, whenever you saw Holiday, before it totally looked like Harvey Dent in like a in a costume or whatever, right? And we also learned, okay, that 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 whole thing where like Joker finds the gun in like Har Harvey's basement, it totally makes sense now. So, so yeah. So I I would say the action scenes were great. I'm still not a fan of the art style and the animation at times. Right, but overall, I thought it was a good film, film and I'm giving it six. I'm giving it the same rating I gave it, gave the last one, which is 6.5 out of 10. So if you don't want, I also have another. Um, um, I also have another complaint, but it's going to be in the spoilers section. So yeah, it's a 6.5. So I'm going to spoil the movie now. So it turns out it was Harvey Dent's wife. Which, like it, like I said, they pulled a fucking... Well, I don't think I said it. They pulled another Batman Phantasm. Fuck, that, remember that movie where the killer was a masked... Looked like a masked man with a huge build. And then it turns out it was a woman. And once you it, the reveal happens that it's a woman, oh, he, he has a female build. So now we find out the killer... Yeah, the killer was fucking... Uh, what's his name's wife, and you don't even get to see her with the costume and her like you know just, uh, taking it off or whatever, getting this unmasked. She pretty much she burns the costume, and then Batman shows up fi figuring out it was her, right? Because because Alber it didn't make sense for for um, Holiday to kill Alberto Falcone, right? Because you know he wasn't like he wasn't a made man or anything. So it was revealed that she used to date him and that they had a baby and that because she was an Italian or because they got they had a baby out of wedlock, uh, Carmine made, made her have an abortion and they broke up the relationship, right? So she wanted uh, re revenge on the Falcone family, right? But like that makes the movie... That makes the twist even more bullshit because then there's all the shit where like while Harvey Dent was busy with working on the case, she's making him feel bad because she, she's he's never at home and like you know she feels lonely and shit, right? So it's like what the fuck was all that bullshit if she was secretly going out and killing people as fucking Holiday man? That makes that and she fucking and. Harvey Tent that takes the, the rap for his wife and it's like and Batman's okay with it. If if this was a fucking if this, if this was a man, Batman would totally beat the shit out of the guy and thrown him in jail. But because it's a woman, he doesn't, right? Even though she not she didn't just kill mobsters and made men. She she started and a string of events that caused, you know, Joker and the other villains to go out and commit crimes because they hated Holiday, right? And, you know, you, like, you also had, like, she ruined 
Harvey Dent's life and turned him into a fucking supervillain, and we're just okay with this? Like, she should be unpunished for this? Like, what the fuck, Batman? Come on. This is this is bullshit, man. And it makes Batman kind of a hypocrite. Because, like, oh, he's not, he's okay. It's the thing where, like, okay, he doesn't kill, but he's okay with other people killing? This is bullshit, man. I'm sorry. And, like, yeah, that what they did to what's-her-name was wrong. Uh, okay, I get it, what, what she did, what she did. But, like, yeah, she ruined her husband's life, right? And ruined the lives of a lot of people. She, sh like, come on, man. And then... Batman just lets her get away with it. It's like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? So I'm, I'm a little pissed off at that. <laughs> but overall, I thought the movie was good. Like, Jen Jensen act. Oh, I should mention, like, Josh Duhamel's Two-Face uh, two, uh, two voice was actually decent, man. Which, you know, his Harvey Dent voice was basically just his real-life voice. And I felt like it didn't feel good at it didn't, it didn't sound great animated, but once he does his two, two, two face uh, voice, um, you know, it sounds pretty good. Which it still doesn't make sense. Okay, like two, why was two, two face around before he got, he got the acid in his face, and it's like, it, it, well, it's implied that he had like psych problems. But come on, man, that that was retarded. So yeah, it's 6.5. I, I, I honestly should probably give this a lower rating, but I did enjoy the film, right? And I think most people will enjoy it, right? Uh, but still, like, but, hey, guys at WB, can we get some more animated films that's not just Batman and Superman? Come on, guys. Like, do Like, if you want other characters to start to be popular, right, and not just, you know oversaturate the market with Batman and Superman stuff. I actually do some like films with like, you know, you know, more Flash films would be nice even though you kind of did his best arc with Flashpoint. <laughs> so it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was really dumb by the way. Oh, we're going to make a Flash movie. Okay, what's 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 the mo what's the best stuff? You want to lead with the best stuff? Are you retarded? <laughs> They, adapt, they adapted Flashpoint, which, as far as I know, is the best thing with the Flash I ever read, right? Is it? Uh, is there other Flash arcs that are as good as Flashpoint? I have, I don't know, and I, hard, I, I hardly doubt it. Uh, yeah, that, that, that pissed me off. Like, how about, like, adapting other classics or whatever? Like, you know, maybe adapting, like, the, you know, some of your, like, comic book, you know, uh your cl classic graphic novels from the DC line, you know, like, uh, maybe a Watchmen animated film, that would be nice, or, or Infinite Crisis, or, you know, Crisis on Infinite Earths, hell, Kingdom Come would be great, but if you're gonna do Kingdom Come, get a fucking anim anime studio to do it, because God knows you, when it comes to more detailed art styles, you guys love to shit the bed, right? Uh, Yoshiyuki Kawajiri, if he's still alive and working, you know, he, he could probably do Kingdom Come, right? It, it wouldn't be, like, obviously they wouldn't be able to adapt the Alex Ross art style, but it would be, you know, like, you know, Yoshiyuki Kawajiri's art style is pretty detailed and it's really cool, so it would, it would work with Kingdom Come. Alright, that's it for this review, guys. I'm also, I also did a review for, like, uh, I did some like horror movie reviews that I'm gonna post uh, soon. Yeah, I just been kinda lazy lately because uh I'm getting I'm getting a lot of heat because I won't take the you know what. And I, I've already had like two arguments with uh arguments with relatives and then there's the fact that we lost the election and Justin Trudeau is still leading things. <laughs> so it's like fuck man, like shit shit's getting rough here, so I don't know, we'll, we'll endure and figure shit out. Alright guys, peace.